This is Augustana Sports Scene, a weekly update on Viking athletics at South Dakota's largest private college. Enjoy the action and excitement of NCAA Division II athletics at Augustana. Augie Sports Update is brought to you by Shoneman's. Coach Dave Krause, Augustana women's basketball team battled their way to a 71-52 victory over number six ranked Wayne State in front of 2,452 enthusiastic fans at the Elman Center. With the win, the Vikings up their record to 12-3 overall and 9-2 in the NSIC. The Augustana ladies are now tied with Wayne State for the conference lead. The Vikings got out to a 28-25 halftime lead and extended the margin in the second half to claim the big win. Alex Feeney had a tremendous game for Augustana as she scored 25 points and hauled down 11 rebounds. Lydia Nelson added 17 points and 6 boards. Molly Hayes contributed a strong floor game as she dished out 7 assists while only committing 1 turnover. The Vikings shot 49% from the field and 71% from the free throw line in the victory. In men's basketball, Coach Tom Billiter's team got past Wayne State 63-49 in front of 3,037 fans at the Elman Center. Augustana led 26-25 at halftime, but outscored the Wildcats 37-24 in the second half to improve their record to 10-5 overall and 7-4 in the NSIC. Senior Cody Schilling led the way for the Vikings as he scored 15 points, snared six rebounds, and passed out three assists. Cameron McCaffrey added 12 points with Leif Nomland and David Fritsch each coming down with six rebounds. The Vikings shot 44% from the field and made 20 of 23 free throws on their way to the home court victory. Augustan out rebounded Wayne State 34 to 30 and played solid team defense in the second half to seal the win. In wrestling, coach Jason Reithmeyer's fifth ranked team claimed the consolation title at the National Wrestling Collegiate Association duels in Springfield, Illinois. The Vikings went 4-1 at the meet as they defeated Findlay University of Ohio 27-12, Northern State 25-15, Limestone College of South Carolina 23-11, and Central Oklahoma 16-15. Augustana's lone setback at the duels was a 21-10 defeat against number four Nebraska Kearney. And all other Augustana sports teams are working hard this winter. The indoor track teams are beginning their competition, while the baseball, softball, tennis, and golf teams are all holding workouts inside. And Augustana's football coaches have been on the road working on the recruiting process as signing day comes up in early February. That's our sports update for this week. When we come back, we'll talk Augustana men's basketball with Coach Tom Billiter. Stay with us. Augustana Sports Scene is brought to you by Sanford Health, improving the human condition. By Shoneman's, your trusted building center since 1888. And by Mid-Continent Communications, part of your community. When I was young, I loved helping my grandfather with projects. From building a birdhouse to odd jobs around the house, we always got our supplies from Shoneman's. I remember the smell of the fresh cut lumber and all the bins full of nails, nuts, and bolts. Today, my projects are a bit bigger and so is Shoneman's selection. I rely on them for everything I need. Shoneman's in Sioux Falls and Harrisburg. Expert advice, everything you need. You can always do it right with Shoneman's. Cleaning hard water spots takes time and effort. Be sure your water softener is working properly. Your Culligan man can make sure any brand water softener is working by performing a 10-point inspection for only $19.95. That's Culligan. Better water, pure and simple. Even the highest efficiency dishwasher can't remove spots from your glasses if you have hard water. But a Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener can. The Culligan High Efficiency saves you up to 46% in operating costs, and it makes your glasses look 100% beautiful. The all-new mid-size 2012 Passat with dual-zone automatic climate control, Bluetooth, and scheduled carefree maintenance included. The Passat has more premium standard features than its competitors. That's the power of German engineering. With 
every click of a LifeTouch camera, a school memory is captured. Education benefits. And children are safer. LifeTouch School Portraits. Great things come from great pictures. Hi, I'm Chad Greenway of the Minnesota Vikings. I'm a big fan of how youth sports can help kids stay physically fit. But as an athlete and a parent, I'm also very concerned about safety. Millions of sports-related concussions happen every year, and many go unrecognized. That's alarming because the wrong treatment can slow recovery, worsen the condition, or lead to permanent damage. Please learn the facts about concussions and help protect our young athletes. To learn more, visit SanfordHealth.org slash heads up. The Augustana Men's Basketball Report is brought to you by Sanford Health. Joining me now is Augustana Men's Basketball Coach Tom Billiter. Well, Tom, uh, it's right after the uh, Wayne State game here at the Elman Center. Great victory for the Vikings who came out on top 63-49. to It was hard fought, but uh, your thoughts, Tom? Well, I, I'm glad we got the win. You know, I thought... Uh, I thought Paul did a great job uh, for Wayne. You know, every time we'd get something going, time out. You know, uh, we'd get a flow going and they'd run the clock down to three. You know, they just did a great job of controlling tempo, and those are never fun games. And then on top of it, as we were talking earlier, uh, we had some great looks early. You know, and we just missed two, three foot shots that we just got to make. And it's so easy after three or four. I mean, we had a number of them. You can just hang your head and quit playing defense, and we never did. I thought we defended well. Uh, very fortunate. We're six for 20 from the field in the first half. One assist to nine turnovers. Fortunately, we were, hit our free throws. But uh, we go down in the locker room up one with some of the you know, just most disgusting statistics ever. And credit Wayne. They played hard. They wanted to win the game. I'm not trying to take anything away from them, and their style was difficult. But I thought our kids hung in there, and I thought, you know, obviously the second half we could get a little bit of flow going. Um, and, you know, some kids stepped up, and I just thought it was a good team effort, and I thought our bench really helped us. Yeah, super win. Well, last week, uh, before we were going on the air, we were talking about all the points that were scored when we played Bemidji State. <laughs> 202 here in points. Of Duluth. Yeah. So talk about what you did this week in practice. You know, and part of that had to do with their style of play from Wayne, but this week in practice, you know, we put bubbles on the – rims so you just know that you had to rebound every shot and you knew you were going to have to do things right defensively and uh, you know we really got after we practiced for 90 minutes two hours on nothing but defense and then we go to the we're practicing longer probably right now than we did earlier in the year when everybody was hurt but um, regardless of all that we're trying to get better at things and well we're really good defensively tonight we got to put it all together you know we were offense two weeks ago and that's all we worked on put in some new sets we did great with those last weekend well now we got to put the whole thing together which is exciting because if when we do uh, we got a chance to be pretty good team. Well, Tom, there's a long way to go in the league race, but what are your what are your thoughts on the conference uh, right now? You know, now? I think it's playing out about how I thought. You know, I, I did think that uh, uh, when we played Southwest State here, I thought they were a very, very good basketball team. Obviously, we're known with Clayton Vetti inside and, and other great players there. You know, see, they have a lot. There's C.J. Erickson. they got four transfers. They're, they're very talented. More heads. You know, it's about where I thought it was. You've got a little bit of separation uh, starting to play out. But, you know, you watch Upper Iowa on TV last night lose in overtime at Moorhead and We've all been waiting for, you know, I mean, Crookston's in every game, it seems like. So even the the teams that maybe are down a little bit are so dangerous and, and just so talented. So it's just another great year, maybe one of the best years ever in terms of balance in the league. And, and uh, it's just every night's just a war. Well, the Vikings uh, hit the road here this week, a couple of tough ball games, and it starts out first. Uh, Tom, uh, a real dangerous one down at Upper Iowa. Yeah, and, you know, we were up 21 one time there a couple of years ago at the half, up 21 and lost. Uh, not an easy place to play. Um, they'll put those football players right there on that end. And the gym's, <laughs> like you, right? and the gym's about the size of this classroom. It's a small place with not a lot of seating. And so uh, they'll be ready for us, you know. And, and Brian, you know, I tell you, he's doing a great job. Those, you know, Wensing last night was just a star. And uh, they're, they're a very, very good basketball team. And so we've got to come in there and play as well as we possibly can and then get on the bus and drive up to Winona and play the yep. first place team. So, you know, it's, it's a good weekend. It's an exciting weekend. We'll have our kids focus this week and, and really try to get better in practice. Well, I know that uh, you're going to look first at that Upper Iowa game, but let's talk a little bit more about Winona. What's made them such a good team Well, so you know, they, they have a lot of players back, and you've got a post who I think could be playing in the NBA someday. You know, I mean, he was a Mr. Basketball from Iowa, played at Iowa State, a uh, strong kid, very talented. Uh, but it's not just Clayton Vetti, you know, although he's, he's incredibly good. They've got a very 
very well-rounded team. They're, they're athletic. They play hard. They've won. They always win. They're used to winning. So you've got a, a combination there of, of kids that, you know, expect to win. And uh, we've had, you know, some good success against them. I think we've beaten them the last five or six times in a row that we've played them, including NCAA tournament games. So, uh, you know, they'll be fired up to play yep. us, and they'll, really, they'll be ready to go. Well, it's a big weekend ahead, Tom, so uh, good luck to you and the Vikings. Thanks, Bill. The August Nana Women's Basketball Report with Coach Dave Krauth is next. How do you hold a moment? Keep friends and family close. Witness the passage of time. Replay the glory days. Relive magical nights. Create memories to share. How do you capture a lifetime? One picture at a time. Life Touch. Photography for a lifetime. My alley was a tumor and it hurts in my head and it's right here. I have three favorite colors. Red, pink, and purple. I like to draw fairies, princesses, and clothes. I want to be when I grow up a clothes modeler. It models clothes. This is my victory. The Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference. With 16 national championships since 2006 and 18 individual national champions, the NSIC has developed into the premier Division II conference in the upper Midwest. The NSIC boasts 14 schools competing in 17 sports, all committed to one common goal, athletic and academic excellence. The Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference, a proud member of NCAA Division II Athletics. They're not that easy to come by. The teachers who engage us. The truly gifted ones. The ones whose words stay with us for days or even years. The odds are you'll only know a few of them. Unless you go to Augustana. Then your chances are greatly improved. Augustana. Why do you play? Why go through all the pain, the endless practices, for the victories, for the joy of playing the game, or do you play for something even greater? If you already know the answer, we're the network for you. Midco Sportsnet. This is how we do sports. The Augustana Women's Basketball Report is brought to you by Mid-Continent Communications. With me now is Augustana Women's Basketball Coach Dave Krauth. We're right after the game at the Elman Center. The Vikings with a huge victory over Wayne State, 71-52. The number six team in the nation, the team that was leading the league. A lot of buildup for uh, this one, Dave, but uh, the Vikings didn't disappoint. What a great win. Yeah, I, I was... Uh... Just happy with, uh, you know, we, we, we played hard for 40 minutes, and I really thought our last game, I, I had that feeling too. Not going to make all the plays, hit all the shots, and we probably had a few poor, poor turnovers, but uh, we just were there, and, and we make them, for the most part, earn what they got on, mm -hmm. on the offensive end. And, and then, uh, you know, we got some enough, and uh, 71 against them is pretty right. good. I mean, they just don't give up points, and Alex Feeney had a heck of a game. She did. Let's let's talk offense first, and uh, in particular, Alex, 25 points, 11 rebounds. She had a great game. Yeah, and, and we went inside a little bit uh, early in the game um, where they, they isolate their defensive post and make you, you know, either dribble attack or go into your post and, and play some one-on-one -on -one. and I thought Lydia had a couple nice moves mm -hmm. uh, and we got a couple out of Alex in the first half but then in the second half uh, uh, after we'd gotten a little stagnant in the second part of the first half uh, went to her again and she really delivered. Yeah and Molly Hayes a great floor game seven assists only one turnover. Yeah no that that is uh, and boy I noticed it as the game went on because she really tries to think for for the team and that's that quarterback out there you know, you get great play out of, uh, you know, Emily Schulte didn't play quite as many minutes tonight. She'd been hurt all week, but uh, 
Uh, Sean Tiva gets after him, and, and you know you get that, but that that little extra leadership is what Molly will give you. Yeah, yeah it was just a super uh, team effort on the offensive end. The defensive end, Dave, you held them to 52 points. They have a great, great player, the best player in the league, arguably, in Ashley yeah. Arlen. How did you kind of stagnate her? Well, I mean, they they are somewhat predictable. Uh, I mean, they've got counters to some of their sets to her, but they are, and they get her the ball on the left side of the court. She's a lefty. She tends to turn to her left hand, and she makes tough shots, and she's got a step back three. Mm -hmm. So she's tough to guard. But, you know, we, we made her earn most of them, and uh, where she just didn't have maybe sometimes the kind of shot where you can get comfortable. Well, there was a lot of energy in the Almond Center here, a great crowd and a great win for the Vikings. Dave, you're at the top of the league right now. I'm sure you wish the conference race was over. <laughs> we're halfway through, though. Wish we were there. It's 9-2 and two right now, the Vikings are. Are you a little bit surprised by where you're at? Yeah, I, I, I am. Um, you know, this team has, has matured, I've used that word before, um, and, and you can kind of see it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, we're, we're figuring out, you know, where we can go and, and uh, you know, just how to, you know, play, you know, between each other, whether that's just chemistry on passing or, or whatnot. So, you know, like I said, it is the halfway point. I mean, our, our schedule is tougher with seven road games right. now in this second half, but boy, uh, I'll take where we're at right now. Yeah, great at nine and two in the league here. While the Vikings do hit the road for two tough ones, uh, it starts out at uh, Upper Iowa. That's uh, that's a dangerous one, I'd say, at this point, Dave. Their last last week, their home games, they, they lost a cliffhanger to St. Cloud uh, by two or three and then beats Concordia by 20. And mm -hmm. down there, off off their court, they haven't been you know very good as their record might indicate. And then of course we follow up with Winona, and they're sort of hitting stride right, right now. So it'll right. be another tough road trip. Winona had kind of a slow start, but they had quite a few injuries. Yes, right? they had some injuries, a couple of concussions where kids missed a game or two, and and uh, they're sort of you know back now with most of them and, and like I said sort of hitting stride so that'll be a tough challenge for us. Well Mary I believe had won eight games in a row and they lost here. Well they? Mary and, uh, and uh, Mankato had both had you know long winning streaks and they played tonight so mm -hmm. I mean it was a very close game I think I saw the score but uh, both very good teams and, and uh, we'll play them both again. Well the league has a long ways to go but the Vikings are off to a super start and uh, Dave uh, you're a fun team to watch. Good luck to you and the Vikings. Thanks Bill. Up next, Augie Sports Focus. Stay with us. You may have met one. The teachers who challenge. The ones who motivate. The ones who can fire imagination. The ones, in short, that you'll find at Augustana. Now maybe you don't believe that one college could have so many great professors. If so, you're in for an education. Augustana. I was half the person I used to be, literally. I knew that if I didn't have the strength uh, that I'd back in my body, I'd never be able to ride my Harley again. And that was one of my other goals I had, was to be able to get back on the bike. Just being able to get out and experience, you know, the area and the surroundings on the back of a bike is so much different than being in a car. You can smell the smells as you drive through. You can hear the sounds. Which is great. This is my victory. You travel these parts like we have, and you can't miss it. Pride. Pride in who we are, where we're going and where we want to be. It brings us together, makes us better. We've learned some truths along the way. Talent, it isn't measured by geography. Small town doesn't mean small time. And every battle is epic to those in the fight. This is how we do sports. Cleaning hard water spots takes time and effort. Be sure your water softener is working properly. Your Culligan man can make sure any brand water softener is working by performing a 10-point inspection for only $19.95. That's Culligan. Better water, pure and simple. 
Even the highest efficiency dishwasher can't remove spots from your glasses if you have hard water. But a Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener can. The Culligan High Efficiency saves you up to 46% in operating costs, and it makes your glasses look 100% beautiful. When I was young, I loved helping my grandfather with projects. From building a birdhouse to odd jobs around the house, we always got our supplies from Shoneman's. I remember the smell of the fresh cut lumber and all the bins full of nails, nuts, and bolts. Today, my projects are a bit bigger, and so is Shoneman's selection. I rely on them for everything I need. Shoneman's in Sioux Falls and Harrisburg. Expert advice, everything you need. You can always do it right with Shoneman's. Augie Sports Focus is brought to you by Shoneman's. Joining me now is Augustana basketball senior Molly Hayes. Molly, it's great to have you with us. We're right after the big win here at the Elman Center. The Vikings knocking off number six ranked Wayne State, who had been leading the league. We're now tied with them in the league, 71 to 52. Molly, what a basketball game. Your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, I mean. It was really nice knowing we only had one game to play this weekend because our biggest thing is making sure we have energy for every game. And I think our defense really set the tone. I mean, even after that first weekend of conference uh, plays, I mean, we just knew that that's going to carry us. So once we got that going, it seemed that everything else just kind of went right for us. Yeah, things are really rolling for the Vikings and for Molly, too. Uh, great game tonight overall, uh, scoring six points, but probably more importantly, seven assists and only one turnover. And one thing coaches always look at is what's called the assist to turnover ratio. And uh, you had a great one tonight, Molly. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, since playing for coach now for six years, I mean, that's <laughs> always in the back of my head is yeah. uh, he turnovers. Like, he, like turnovers. That's either. probably the biggest thing. And yeah. so, I mean, I'm really conscious of that, especially against the zone. I mean, their hands are always moving and Wayne, they've, they play it all year. So they right. get in the passing lanes, but we did a better job attacking and then being able to pass the ball. Molly alluded to the six years, so fans, let's just kind of go through this. Molly redshirted her first year, then she was playing, she had a knee injury in which year? Third year, third after year. I played. So she missed a year, and then it was a decision uh, of whether to come back again. Uh, you go through kind of a hardship process with the NCAA, and thank goodness Molly made the decision <laughs> to come back. So old timer, how's it feel to be in year number six? I mean, it feels good. I could tell the end of last year, I mean, I wasn't ready to give it up. And uh, I'm really happy I came back. When I mean, this team is one of the most fun teams to play with. We're really unselfish. And, I mean, everyone is just in it to win. Yeah, and tonight, uh, you know, it, it just seems like we take what they give us. And when it's uh, the outside game, we get that going tonight. You know, the game that was there was the inside game. And you guys get a, did a great job of getting it to Alex and Lydia. Yeah, and it was funny because this whole week going against the zone, I mean, we've just been shooting I don't know how many threes, and everyone's been really on, so we're kind of excited. And then I hear we only made like two tonight, but I mean, when we have Feeney and Lydia being as fishing as they were in the post, I mean, we just got it to them every time almost. Yeah, and it's got to be different for you too now playing with uh, two other uh, out really quick guards out there. Yeah. Sometimes all three are out there at once in Shantiva Ashley and Emily Schulte. That's got to be fun. I mean, it's nice uh, having some other girls that just help you get after them. And uh, those two have just been playing amazing on defense this year, and they kind of really energize everyone else to uh, yep. pick it up. Yeah, well, it's been a great year for the Vikings and uh, certainly a year that uh, we've been proud of. Molly, uh, we talked uh, in sports scene here before about your, uh, your other goals in your life, and uh, what are you planning after basketball finally ends? <laughs> Probably get a job. I think yeah. uh, six years of basketball is enough. Right. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'll probably just be looking for a job as soon as yep. basketball is done. And you're thinking about nursing? Yep, nursing. Okay. Well, wonderful. Well, Molly, you've had a great career. we got a long ways to go yet. Yep. we got a chance to win this conference, so uh, let's go do that. So yeah. thanks for all you've done for Augustana and Augustana Ladies Basketball. Good luck, Molly. Thank you. The Augustana Sports Calendar is next. We'll be right back. The most difficult times require the right team where we fight disease, discover cures, and believe in the power of play. That's the art and science of healthcare. The things we do with children every day at Sanford Children's. Here's to all you crazies. You, the hometown diehards, the fanatics, that's what a fan is, after all. 
You live or die by what happens on the field, on the court, and in your heart every time your team plays. So, let your freak flag fly. We're here for you. Midco Sportsnet. This is how we do sports. The all-new mid-size 2012 Passat with dual-zone automatic climate control, Bluetooth, and scheduled carefree maintenance included. The Passat has more premium standard features than its competitors. That's the power of German engineering. They're not that easy to come by. The teachers who engage us truly gifted ones. The ones whose words stay with us for days or even years. The odds are you'll only know a few of them. Unless you go to Augustana. Then your chances are greatly improved. Augustana. There's just times that it's, it's, there's a lot of dark, darkness. I would be in church looking at the PowerPoint and just thinking, uh, this could be my funeral, this could be my pictures up there. The day came when I could actually stand in front of our congregational family and I could sing a solo. And that was so huge because I had forgotten how beautiful a song could be in my heart. My word is celebrate. The Augustana Sports Calendar is brought to you by Sanford Health. Let's take a look at the Augustana Sports Calendar for this week. Friday, January 20th, wrestling takes on the University of Mary at the Elman Center at 7 p.m. Basketball teams are on the road at Upper Iowa University in Fayette, Iowa. Those games tip off at 6 and 8 p.m. Saturday, January 21st, indoor track is at the Minnesota State Invitational in Mankato and basketball travels to Winona State for doubleheader action. The women tip off at 5 followed by the men at 7. And remember for radio coverage of Augustana basketball you can hear the men on KIKN FM 100.5 and worldwide at KIKN.com and the Augustana ladies can be heard on KXRB AM 1000 and worldwide at KXRB.com and for complete information on Augustana athletics Go to our website, goaggy.com. That's it for this week's show. This is Bill Gross thanking you for watching, and I hope you'll join me again at this same time next week for another edition of Augustana Sports Scene. Have a great week, everybody. You've been watching Augustana Sports Scene, a weekly update on NCAA Division II athletics at South Dakota's largest private college. Learn more about Augustana College in Sioux Falls at augie.edu.